Okay, so let me introduce you to the Leitner flashcard game. The objective is to win the game by getting all your cards past level 7 and out of the box. To do this, you must remember the meaning of the card seven times in a row. How to build your game box. Step one is to get a flashcard storage box. You'll be able to find these at office supply stores like Office Depot or Staples. It's a long box. It's about five inches wide to fit a three by five card. If your cards are smaller than that, that's fine. And if your cards are bigger, you'd either need to trim them or maybe use a shoe box. If the box does not come with index card dividers, you'll need to buy or make eight of them. Here's an example of what a pack of divider cards looks like. You're going to label these cards level one through level seven. So the first divider um, is going to actually say new, and then you're going to put behind that the level one divider, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, and level seven. Step four, you're going to make your game calendar you're going to use a blank copy of your school or work calendar, and you're going to write the number one in the first day you begin playing this game. Then keep numbering each calendar day in numerical order until you get to the number 64. Then you'll start over with the number one. Fold it up so it fits into your box, and then also print the game schedule below, and you'll tape that to the box. Step five, you're going to get out your envelopes of your Langenscheidt flashcards or whichever flashcards you've made, and you'll decide which sets of cards are most important for you to memorize first. You'll place those behind the divider labeled new, as this is just a holding area for the cards you will consider playing with later. How to set up to play. You're going to take the cards from the new section. Looking at the German word, test yourself to see if you can get the translation right in the first couple seconds on your very first try. Those super easy cards are going to go back in their envelope or into the rubber band because there's no reason to spend time with words you already know. And the harder ones are going to go in a stack next to your box. Then you're going to count the first 15 cards if you're an underclassman or a beginner or the, take the first 30 cards from this stack that you created of the harder words that you want to practice, and you're going to place them all in the level one section of your box. You're going to put the rest of the cards that you'll practice tomorrow or on another day back in the new section as you'll use them later. Every day you're going to add 15 or 30 new cards to your game. How to play. You use the lightness schedule below to know which level is up first on game day. If the assigned level section has no cards, you'll go to the next assigned level on that day's schedule. So here on day one, you're supposed to start with level two and then practice level one. But if this is the first time you're playing, you wouldn't have any cards in level two, so you get to skip level two and go straight to your level one cards. This is the calendar I was telling you that you're going to need to print and then you'll cut it out of the paper and you'll glue it or tape it to maybe the inside of your box, someplace where you'll always be able to see it. All right, step two, take out your collection of your 15 or 30 flashcards from the level one section and test yourself. The cards you get correct on your first try in approximately five seconds get placed in the next section, which today would be level two if we're just starting this game. The cards you couldn't get right on your first try go to the back of this practice stack and you'll keep practicing the same stack today or during the first game session until all your practice cards have made it into level two. Once all your practice cards are gone for the day, you're finished and you really should reward yourself when all these cards are gone. Something like a quick online game flipping through Instagram, getting a piece of chocolate, going for a bike ride or a swim, something like that, because you just did really accomplish something great. The next time you play, you'll follow the lightness schedule and you move the cards you get correct to the next higher level, but the cards you get wrong will go all the way back down to level one. The rule is that you only touch or practice the level two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. You only touch them one time. 
the ones you get right immediately go up to the next section the ones you get wrong immediately go back down to level one and there's a little picture to kind of show you the idea the cards you get right every time you're supposed to practice that section whichever ones you get right go to three whichever ones you get wrong no matter which section you're practicing they go back down to one Notice that our picture only has five sections when we're actually making a light in a box with seven. So note that it's only the level one cards that you keep touching and practicing until you get them correct and move them into the level two section. You're going to draw a picture that helps you remember the word on the front of each card that got sent back to level one. So all the cards that you get wrong that end up having to go back in level one you're going to spend some time drawing um, a picture or you can go to Google search and get an image, print it, um, just make sure it's small so it'll fit on your card on the front with the German word and you'll glue it on there. Some final notes, you'll play the Leitner game every day at the same time and it's best if you do it along with another daily activity. Do it during your German class time or the time that you've put aside every day to do your German work. You could even move it to the time like after you're done brushing your teeth or after you're finished eating breakfast or during a bus ride or a train ride if you're a commuter. And this game does have to be played 30 minutes each day because if you skip or miss a day, you'll need to do 60 minutes the next day and so on. So please make sure you do commit yourself to 30 minutes of gameplay each day. Your tough cards can be made easier when you take the time to draw a picture no matter how good or bad your picture is as long as you know what that picture is or you can print and paste an online image like i mentioned before to the german side of the card your brain will actually learn the word while you are drawing or searching online so take your time good luck have fun